why wait for tomorrow when you have today to work out absolutely right guys so we are always so hooked on to i will start from a monday i will start from the first i will start from the new year well let's not wait for that day to arrive and let's get started today itself welcome to shed it level 2 with me vasudha agarwal and i have a fabulous full body workout and this is going to be intense and some fun are you ready let's get started with our warm up movement guys We have four warm-up movements, actually three, but four because one will be on the right, one will be on the left. Thirty seconds each. Good to go. Let's get started. I want you to get your legs wider. Make sure that your feet are kind of pointing towards the front, and your full foot is rested on the floor. And from there, I want you to touch the toes and touch the toes, touch the toes, touch the toes. A very, very important movement to warm the entire body out. Okay, let's go in three. Two, one. Let's start now. Try to keep your legs straight and push your hips back as much as possible. Keep it going. Swing your arms, and you can go slow. You don't have to go too fast, but make sure that your legs are almost straight. It's okay if you're not able to reach for your toes. Just reach for your shin or for your knee. But still, try to keep the legs straight. and done perfect let's move to our movement number 2 in movement number 2 what you're going to do is first you're going to come into your lunge position and then you're going to drop forward with your hip to feel the stretch in your hip flexor and then you are going to come back and sit to feel the stretch once again in your hamstrings 30 seconds of forward and back forward and back on one leg only okay Let's go in 3 2 1 now. So drop your hip down, wait on the heel and sit back, reach forward with your hand, pull your toes in. Again forward, wait on the heel, feel the hips opening out, feel the back of your body opening out. Perfect. Very nice. This feels amazing, right? Keep it going. One more time. and relax let's change start drive your hip forward and then sit back to stretch your hamstrings drive the hip forward this is so important guys i can literally feel every single part of my hip my spine and my legs opening out with this movement and sure a uh, win win for your warm up to prepare the mind and the body for what's coming next yes one more time and relax come out of it excellent let's move to our last warm up movement which is going to be bird dog but we are going to do a scale down bird dog so what you will be doing is you're going to only focus on either lifting your legs or you focus on lifting your hands once go alternative we are going to make this 20 seconds and 20 seconds once you fix with your first 20 second then we'll combine everything together okay let's go with the hands first beast position 3 2 1 now lift up only with the hands take your arms in line with the ears as you do this definitely a very good posture to open out with the shoulders as well and now let's move the hands sorry the legs squeeze the glutes push the hip back keep it going tighten the hip muscles guys as you pushing the hip make sure you're engaging your body nice work 3 2 and 1 excellent stand up okay so with that we come to an end to our warm up and we will be moving to our main part of the workout like always we are going to have three rounds four exercises 30 seconds of work 
15 seconds of break okay so let me quickly show you your first movement very simple very easy it's going to be your squats for squats get your feet shoulder width apart toes pointed out and make sure your knees are also going to be aligned with your toes all the time from there you sit down and you come up every time you sit down you're going to push your knees out hips either in line with your body or below your sorry knees not body knees okay so 20 seconds of squats last 10 seconds will be a hold in three two one let's go drop and up drop up keep it going weight is on the heels 10 seconds done this feels great amazing work to start with and coming to a hold stay don't sit down like this entirely lift your hip up and stay there three two one and up oh, that felt good legs feeling that work second one it's your hand release push up for hand release push up make sure your chest is in between your palms now from there you gently drop the whole body down lift your palms up and then push your body up what i don't want you to do over here is a scooping position make sure you're not scooping into the cobra but you're pressing the flow down and lifting the body up clear 30 seconds at an easy pace let's keep going in three two one now drop and press drop press so no scooping you got to lift your body up and along with your hips not just the upper body remember many get confused that you have to only lift your abdomen and your chest but it's your thighs and your hips as well keep it going five seconds three two and one relax all of you get out of the movement and come down into your supine position that means lying down on your hips and your spine now what you will be doing is we have knee tucks for knee tucks you're going to come in and push your legs out and hands out now to scale this movement down you can bring your hands right behind your ears tuck in and push back tuck in push back or just keep your feet back on the floor clear 30 seconds let's get started with the most basic part of this so you're going to get your hands right behind lift up from your shoulder lower back press down tuck in and drop down again tuck in drop down 30 seconds you can reach for your heels and back down exhale every time you lift up and every time you lift up press your lower back deeply down into the floor last few more seconds keep it going and three two one stop that's about it awesome work last one guys a very similar work move working movement but looks different so what you will be doing is a beast hold that means you come into your beast position and you're going to lift your knees off the floor and stay right there now when you lift your knees off the floor your knees are going to stay very very close to the mat but you're going to lift your spine and your hip high up as high as you can so tuck in all set let's go in three two one set your position and up stay there keep breathing 30 seconds now if this is very very challenging remember you have the plank pose you can definitely stay in the plank and hold on to your plank keep your elbows straight palms pressed deeply down into the floor and once you feel that okay i can probably try switching to beast you can do that never lift your knees off or higher and drop down okay so that was a superb workout because it targets all your muscles and challenges your body super well we have two more rounds to go get ready and now let's pick up the intensity and the pace we have 15 more seconds 
10 more seconds. 5, 3, 2, and let's go. Squat. Keep going. Weight on the heels. Knees pushed out. Keep your back straight. Keep that moving, guys. Keep that moving. Very, very important. Squat down as low as you can. Ah, there is no way I can smile right now because I am so in pain and stop and hold squat hold last 10 seconds and up done oh legs are feeling this work hand release push-ups let's go in five seconds three two one start now drop down press up so choose how fast or slow you want to go but whatever you choose you have to really make sure that you are not arching your lower back you're not scooping up you're using all the strength you have to really press up into your knee plank position keep it going three more seconds and done excellent turn around just turn around we're going to start with knee tucks so you can scale up your movement in three two one let's go guys so tuck in and out with your hands your wish whatever you want to choose make sure you're in full control you're not just slamming your legs down and neither are you straining your neck you're lifting up from your shoulders Ah, 10 more seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Relax. Woo. That was a good one. Very good. We will be moving to our last movement of round number two. It's your beast hold. And let's start now. Hold it. Stay there. Suck your navel in. Push your spine up towards the ceiling. Hold it. When you are tired, you know what to do. You scale it up. Oh, sorry, scale it down to your plank movement. Hold it right there. We just got 10 more seconds of work. I know I can feel that burn. Three more seconds, two more seconds, and one, and drop it down. Whoa. Ah, yes, a massive difference from level one of shedded to level two of shedded. I'm totally feeling the burn, but it feels really good. I want you to stay hydrated, so please drink some water before we move to our last round of first part of our workout. giving you that extra 15 seconds break and giving myself that extra break and we have now five more seconds to get started with our last round let's get ready for squats three two one now start weight is back on the heels don't just push your hips back but also make sure you're pushing your hips down sit lower stand up tall knees pushed out and smile hold that and hold it stay squat hold Whew. this is when we realize how slow 30 seconds 10 seconds can look like right and up oh that was good hand release push-ups coming our way in five seconds Three, two, one, and let's go now. I'm just picking up the pace a little bit because I'm quite confident that my form is good. So you two can make sure that you're not scooping up. You're pressing the floor down. And only once you have got that, 
then you can start to pick up the pace and make it a little faster keep that going no scooping five more seconds to go over here ah, and done oh okay <clears throat> knee tucks guys last one for this circuit one let's start now tuck in tuck in tuck in keep the lower back pressed into the floor ah 10 more seconds to go and done Woo. amazing work feels fabulous we have the last one beast hold in five seconds three two one and let's go stay stay very calm keep breathing push the floor down with your toes with your hands pull your navel in push your spine up towards the ceiling without lifting your knees too high okay we just got 10 more seconds over here so don't stop just hold it right there five more seconds three two and done oh oh my god excellent well that was the finisher of our ward one we have another ward make sure you stay very well hydrated because that work is going to spike your heart rate up okay all right now guys stand up because i'm going to take you through another fabulous ward two movements once again 30 seconds of work 15 seconds of break in between the two so your first movement for today is going to be lateral shuffle for lateral shuffle you're going to come over here touch down come over here touch down as simple as that the only thing that i want you to take care of is when you try to touch down please don't do this don't just fall down like this keep your back straight eyes to the front and touch down just the way you want to do a deadlift or a squat okay so 30 seconds of work guys first one is your lateral shuffle let's go in three two one now slightly look forward keep breathing make sure you're landing very soft you're not not harshing with your feet Keep it going, ha! Ah, feels amazing, right? Legs are on fire, especially after all the work we did and done. Okay, as we move to our next one, it's 15 seconds each leg. It's the fire hydrants, very important work to really bring stability in our muscles. Lift up, back down, lift up, back down so you're going to do that 15 seconds on one leg 15 seconds on the other leg clear shall we get moving three two one now lift so it's an excellent way to bring stability in your body the right and the left side and also to engage the hip muscles to strengthen the hip muscles and change leg Keep that going, back is straight, chest is up, keep the hands straight, push the floor down and three, two, one, oh yeah, now you're feeling it in the glutes, right? Perfect, that's where you're supposed to be, we have two more rounds of the same thing, well the break time between the two rounds is just 15 seconds, so five seconds to go and three, two, one, let's start. Shuffle. Keep it going. 
Remember your head always should remain above your chest level. I can't go any more faster, my legs are sore. So what I'm just going to focus on is staying consistent for 30 seconds. Ah, I know that and done. Get ready, 10 seconds. Fire hydrants coming our way. Three, two, one. Let's go. Take it up. Tighten the hip muscles. Keep the floor pressed. Let's go, guys. Three seconds. Two. And switch leg. Three more seconds and done oh last one 15 seconds break and then 30 seconds I'm gonna just shuffle on the floor because I'm scared that the mat might slip okay get ready three two one now shuffle come on this is the last round pick up the pace let's get a little faster and keep your head above the chest level all the time okay activate your body 15 seconds already done we are about to finish don't stop now three two and one oh good job nice work last one fire hydrants and let's go 15 done come on guys last work let's not stop now let's keep going and slow down with your breath because the more you start to breathe heavy the more challenging it will get for you and let's switch leg Oh, squeeze your hips keep your belly braced your elbows are straight pushing the floor down three two and one excellent fabulous work guys good job done you did fabulous I think even I did fabulous right okay awesome so coming back to our topic before we move to stretches is we always wait for new year right let's Let's keep a new year resolution. We will lose weight and we are going to be like this and we are going to do this. But all I'm saying is we already have so many more months and days to reach that day. Why wait? Get started today because there is no rule, right? That you have to only start from first. The only rule is when you take care of yourself, you get the ability to take care of everybody. You can keep yourself happy, you feel great, you feel comfortable with who you are. So it's high time that you stop waiting for that day and start looking what you can do today. Okay, let's get started with our stretches. What I want you to do is sit down on your hips and bend one knee and straighten the other leg. Keep your back straight and now reach and stretch and pull your toes in to stretch your hamstrings. Keep breathing guys. And slowly relax, shift side. Come in. Hold on to your leg, slow down with your breath, and slowly come up. All of you can come into your kneeling lunge position 
or you can stand up to stretch your quads so you come in right here and hold your ankle or just stand up and repeat the same thing stay here keep breathing feel that work in your quads and hip flexors as you hold the stretch and let's change switch I'm just feeling that silence within me after a fabulous tummy workout literally that's what my state of mind is right now and I think it's really good you know something that brings calmness within you and it need not just be a stretch form of workout but even this does all the work come into your sphinx pose so tighten your hip muscles lift your chest up shoulders pulled away from the ears squeeze your glutes stay slow down with your breath keep breathing pull the shoulders away and release last one guys sit back in child's pose and stay right here And up. All right, guys. Awesome work. Good job done. So with this, we come to an end to our session. But remember what I told you: there is never a good day to start taking care of yourself. The day you start taking care of yourself, that becomes a good day. And then you have to make sure that every day is a good day. Okay. On that note, guys, this is me, Vasudha, signing off for today. But I will keep seeing you again and again and very often. Okay? On that note, guys, bye-bye. Take care. For more such workout videos, download the Calfit app now. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are Calfit.